it is so much devastating when you see people just giving out negative comments just from Megan's appearance. That means they, they just want to have control over her. And that's one thing they will never, ever be able to get. The other day we saw Duchess Megan was spotted out having lunch with her friends. Looking so awesome. Fabulous. Gorgeous. And uh, people just loved the whole appearance. She, lo she looked so young. A lot of people were commenting saying, if I didn't know Duchess Megan, I would have said that she is in her early 20s. That is a photo that has raised a lot of questions. People are currently talking about it, that by her coming out, is kind of trying to shun those who are supposed to be being looked up to in the royal family. So what? People shouldn't be living their life out here. People shouldn't post what they feel like. It's becoming hilarious. This is just getting out of hand and they sound so much insane. That's what I can say. Simply because you know what? Duchess Megan has a right to live the life that she wants. She has a right to do what she pleases. Bearing in mind she's no longer a working royal whereby she just has to be controlled like a remote whereby do this, do that, do this, do that. No way. And I've always said this, they are so much annoyed simply because they no longer have control of what the Duke and Duchess of Sussex do. That's one thing that they haven't come to acceptance of. They haven't accepted that, you know what, no longer what you do, no matter what you do, you can never get back to controlling Harry and Meghan's move, to control Harry and Meghan's decisions that they make. They need to come into kind of an agreement with themselves and accept that they will never ever be able to rule over again at the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They are living their best life and no longer care of what protects or what happens back in the UK. But funny thing enough, the ones back in the UK haven't moved on, imagining it's been almost three years now. They need to move on simply because these obsessions of their of theirs is not only an obsession, but it is at this moment becoming an illness. I have an article and I wish to share it with you. I don't know what you will think about this, but trust me, you, they are just, they just start things that don't add up. Things that don't have sense at all. The article has a title that states, Meghan Markle's first online appearance in years could bring fresh hell to, for King. There's so much used at Harry and Meghan doing their things low-key or the fact that they don't post themselves. It's the pubs who tend to kind of post them. Now, they won't like what is going to partake or the moves that Harry and Meghan are going to make. The article states, the Duchess, the Duchess of Sussex seems to be back on Instagram for the first time since 2018 with her pal uploading a selfie featuring Meghan for her return could spell trouble for the monarchy. First and foremost, it wasn't even posted in Duchess Megan's Instagram page. That's one thing they need to understand. So the fact that a friend posted it, they shouldn't just jump into conclusion and just start giving out notions and assumptions that truly don't add up. A new Instagram snap of Meghan Markle had led the royal commentators to believe that a fresh hell, in quotes, awaits King Charles. The Duchess of Sussex was pictured in a rare selfie with her pals in a snap taken by her hairdresser, Cardi Lee, as she made her highly anticipated return on social media. The hair columnist celebrated the writer Cleo Warden's birthday on her Instagram with a sweet post that featured Megan. The former Suits actress can be seen beaming alongside her friends as Miss Lee welcomed Blatted back the celebrations. While the selfie appeared innocent enough, one royal expert has suggested she is on a scarf of major relaunch across the Atlantic, the Express repeats. Writing for news, Danielle, and I quote, now looks a hell of a lot like Megan is on the cusp of some sort of great big stateside relaunch. 
The commentator said that the Instagram picture acting as a return to the online world has come at a particularly interesting moment as Harry and Meghan are currently working on their first film for Netflix, which is based on the best-selling novel, M Meet Me at the Lake. No matter how hard or no matter the type of narrative that they will bring about to the audience or to the public domain, it won't be able to, at any particular point, affect people. Simply because we know that just Meghan and Harry have got a right to live the life they want. And that's among us the reason as to why they decided to leave the toxic environment and relocate it to a a non-toxic environment whereby they are free to leave the house whenever they want when they feel is right so by them bringing this whole assumption over you know what by that is megan going back to social media on instagram it's kind of creating or setting a hell thing to the king so what who cares the people that he is even ruling don't care people have shown no interest in king charles ruling the way he is ruling people have no at any particular point interest at all imagine you ruling people that don't even care you hosting an event and people coming to your event carrying banners saying that abolish the monarchy not my king that pe that means people haven't come also to acceptance that you know what at this particular moment we just have to agree that Ch charles is our king so bad so there's one thing i can say Looking at the accomplishments that Harry and Meghan have been able to make for these three years explains their growth. And there's nothing they can do about the same. The fact that Harry and Meghan are out here living their best life, we just saw the Duke of Sussex with his only brother, Nacho, the other day back in Singapore and also in Japan, just living their best life, doing good things together. We also spotted Duchess Megan out living her best life, enjoying life with friends. That one explains a lot. And the UK press, the royal family, I bet they will just come to acceptance. And you know what? They'll be like, there's nothing we can do about this anymore. Simply because Harry and Megan won't be stopped. They are non-stoppable allow me use that word and they will continue glowing blossoming day in day out and nothing is going to derain them backwards i've said this and i'll repeat no narrative at any particular point will be able to affect the duke and duchess of sussex most especially no any negative narrative at any particular point will be able to affect the duke and duchess of sussex they will continue thriving striving and just looking good day in day out and for sure they will continue rising day in day out they just need to get set to see harry and megan's small success I don't know what you think about the same kind. Just leave your comments and thoughts down below. And that was our today's podcast. And thank you so much for tuning in. And see you guys in our next podcast. Bye.